If you're looking for the ultimate priming system upgrade for your Mark 7 Apex 10, this is the video for you. Plus, if you watch to the end, we've got some deals that are so crazy, you're not gonna wanna pass these up. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm back with Kyle Shields. Thank hey. you, Kyle, for helping out here. Good to be here, yes. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of commercial reloading and prosumer reloading stories with 10 station reloading presses. We've done a lot with the Apex 10 and the Mark 7 Revolution. Revolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we processed 45,223 cases. We just processed over 90,000 9 millimeter cases. And, and this is the man that really made it all happen. Yep. <laughs> A lot of work. <laughs> now we're back with the Apex 10 and we're excited to announce here on our channel, at least this has been out for about a month now. Okay. Yeah. We've got X Prime. X Prime uh, takes a lot of the features and functionality that you'll find on the priming system from the Mark 7 Revolution, which is the top tier commercial reloading press system. And it implements those for the Apex 10. So these features like dumping primers in having this rotary uh, orientation bowl and ramp feed system. This is all now available for Apex 10 at a much lower price point. Mm -hmm. It's it's not industrial grade, but you know for that prosumer mass volume reloader, maybe you're a competitive pistol shooter or you're doing smaller scale boutique ammunition manufacturing, uh, this holds a lot of promise. We're gonna put this to the test in the video. So it has a capacity of 300 primers. It comes with everything that you're gonna to need to attach it to your Apex 10. Uh, what I think is really cool about this is the control box is integrated. Mm -hmm. Yep, no separate control box like on the Revolution. Right, so, so you'd have like cables going back and forth and, and dials and all that. It's all seamlessly integrated into the unit. And I love the way that the priming system works on the Revolution. Yeah. So uh, the price point on this one is 595. You've already got this out of the box. Let's yep. talk about what's included. Yeah, well, of course you got the unit itself with mm -hmm. the integrated control box, which is really nice. So that's that's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a couple of ramps here, plastic pieces that will attach to the X Prime, some mm -hmm. cables, power supply, and some hardware. And this probably, some of it looks pretty familiar to the previous priming system that mm -hmm. uh, Mark 7 had. So there are some similarities, but one thing you will need for sure is a Gen 2 priming system if you okay. don't already have one. Yep. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So. Also, the manual, I mean, yeah. they, well Mark done. 7 does a really great job using their CAD renderings for super yeah. clear, detailed instructions on all this stuff. As a somewhat CAD guy, I appreciate that, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I always appreciate detailed stuff. Like, I'd rather have the details than not have it at all, because I've been there before mm. in general with a lot of things, and uh, you're trying to look at an exploded part view, and you can't find it anywhere. Because you're like, how does this work? And you can't find it. So well, I'd rather have it. <laughs> if you're that excited about the owner's manual, maybe I'll have you set up the X Prime, and then, and then <laughs> you can you can watch me and instruct me as I, we do some mass nine millimeter priming. Let's get started then. Okay, let's do it. So you've made some progress. I have, got it all installed. Pretty nice. straightforward, probably 15 minute job if you're not self-filming everything. So, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but yeah, if you're familiar with your Apex 10, it should be really, really quick, especially if you already have the Gen 2 priming system installed. So all you have to do is uninstall the primer disc cover, the primer disc itself, get those out of there to give you some room. Mm -hmm. And then you move over to the unit and install the primer ramp. And then once you install the primer ramp with the little tiny countersink screws, you then adjust the ramp to make sure it's flush with okay. the base and you also gotcha. want to pay attention that there's a gap so mind the gap and uh, not have it touch the primer assembly itself because mm -hmm. that could mess with things in my case it's not so you just want to make sure that's all set then you move on over to installing the whole unit itself okay uh, so you install the whole unit and you know do the trick where you push up on it a little bit even though everything seemed to fit fine but <laughs> just pushing up on a little bit while you're tightening down all the screws and that is now attached to the gen 2. Then it's a matter of just kind of reversing everything, reinstalling your primer disc, the primer okay. disc cover, yep. the eccentric, which is this little hold down for your ramp. Okay. And then I plug which in all the cables. Which is an adjustment as well? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a little bit of adjustment. You might have to play with it a little bit mm -hmm. just gotcha. to make sure the eccentric is down enough, mm -hmm. but not too tight where you can't close it over the cover where it holds it in place. Because basically this rotates and just kind of holds mm -hmm. this cover in place and holds it down, so to speak. Gotcha. And then after that, I loaded up about 100 primers Mm -hmm. Spun it up for the first time, started about halfway, and then dialed it up a little bit to speed up the primers. And before I know it, it shut right off and was filled. <laughs> so it was really quick. Um, nice. Everything seems to work fine. And then also to note, I enabled the sensor for primer sense on our 
okay. auto drive since nice. we have that capability. But yep. really, really straightforward overall, really easy. The instructions, yes, were very good. Nice. <laughs> so having all the diagrams it and helps. everything step by step is great. So yep. yeah, um, just did one case. <laughs> so, so far things are good. Yep. Just want to make sure. Great. Depth is good. Yep. Just wanted to, that's what I want to make sure of that our adjustment's still good because who knows mm -hmm. which state this was in. Um, added the hold down dies, like I mentioned, and like John Vlieger did, is having one to offset on the opposite mm -hmm. side for when we're priming. So mm -hmm. that way the tool head stays nice and level and hopefully everything's consistent. Yeah, there's a reason that a lot of commercial loaders do priming as a separate loading step. Mm -hmm. It isolates issues, it, uh, it helps with the mess, right? The Yes. A lot of different things. And uh, with priming being usually the most difficult or, or problematic uh, stage in the reloading process to have that isolated, you know, and then to enable your sensors. Yeah. It's a great way to go. Yeah, it keeps everything going and that way you know if there's a problem, what the problem probably is. That right. way you don't have too much going on at once. Of course you can fully load this thing up, we've done it before, mm -hmm. but it is generally recommended in the commercial space or in that kind of enthusiast realm where mm -hmm. you just do everything separate. And, and in fact, you can kind of go faster. And if you have a process down, yes. you can just do everything in, yep. in every different pass. So. Yeah, it's kind of the way to go. Cool. Well, I'll say uh, I'm going to load up some cases. We'll turn on the case feed and uh, see how this thing's going to work. Excited to see this. Okay. See if I spill too many here. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah, it's a little bit. All right, that's uh, probably enough to get us started there. Oh, and yeah. And then we'll turn on the power. You've got it somewhere in the middle. Yeah, or five. Start there. Might need to go faster. Kick up the speed a little bit. About right there, probably fine. Gotta love that inductive sensor, huh? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> okay, so let's run through here. We've got primer sense enabled. That's right. all that we should need yep. here. Uh, let's see. A little bit of index speed, just, okay. just for the sake of. Uh, nothing under settings, nothing it's really just timeouts. Monitors. monitors, where we still have the oh, yeah. last number. Nice. So all that's zeroed out. And um, then processing, yeah. Yeah, thousand's kind of the default. And I, okay. I, I, did, I lowered the digital clutch down to three, enable torque sense, all that stuff. So yeah, cool. we're, we're starting out pretty slow. We probably can go faster, but we'll see. Okay, so we at. got primers loaded, so yep. we're ready to hit run? We are. All right. I imagine we'll be able to pick it up as mm -hmm. we get things settled in. So how many cases do you like to let go through before you, like we'll probably go up to 1500 next, I'm guessing. Yeah, you can, we can ramp it up or we can full send it, but. Yeah, let's ramp it up. Might as well. Sounds like it's going all right. Yeah, I don't hear anything wrong, so. Mm -hmm. And just about to get some out. I think I saw one in there. Yeah, oh yeah. Hey, it's Bernard. going. Okay, let's do one too. Yeah, so far so good. Below flush, seems to be good depth. It's very optimal, yeah. Should I ramp it up to the next level? Let's try it. Okay. 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That is so cool. So it's got a sensor on the ramp and it turns itself on, is that right? That's, that's right, yep. And the primer sense, if there's any issues, it will mm -hmm. you know, notify you as well per the usual for all the other sensors as well. Very similar mm -hmm. system. Yeah, so far so good. We are very consistent. All right, 2,500, here we Let's come. Go. Still good. Goes pretty fast, doesn't it? It does. Especially with no human intervention. Yeah, that's nice, I know. Yeah, this seems pretty solid so far. I like the integral box and control unit mm -hmm. as well. I like how compact everything is. Yep. So it looks like we're kind of ready for some more primers. Should I dump some in? Yeah, sure. Okay.
Well, the C trials are done. Yeah. Got the machine up and going. We got up to 2,500 uh, per hour. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, and we just checked the approximately 200 cases that were primed. All of them looked perfect. No upside down primers, nope. no, no jammed missed. primers, nope. no missed primers. So we're ready to either you know bulk prime here or we could set up for loading and prime and load at the same time. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, we can do either one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yep. So it's a pretty good system overall. It's impressive, easy to install. Um, yeah, it's probably one of the smoothest. I've never seen I've something used. like this at this price point. This is awesome. No, it's it's really solid. So yeah. the, the Rev system has a really good priming system. It's nice that mm -hmm. they brought this over to the Apex essentially. So yep. good, good to see. Not quite an industrial version, but it works very similar. And so far, 100% functioning. Mm -hmm. Nice job with the setup. Thank you. So also, as we mentioned earlier in the video, through December 1st, 2025, there are some amazing deals. The first of which is if you buy an Apex 10, you can get the X Prime for free. It's $595 value. Also, if you buy an auto drive, $200 off any auto drive. And there's this killer combination as well. If you buy an Apex automated bundle, you're gonna get a $200 discount because of the auto drive. You're gonna get $595 off. In other words, the X Prime is included as a part of that as a bonus. And then if you buy all five sensors, there's a $50 discount on each sensor uh, for a total of $250 off that sensor package. So all told, that can be a savings of up to $1,045. If you're gonna invest in a system like this, this is the time, and I think X Prime is a great reason to do so. Thank you again, Kyle, for your help you. with this. Yeah. We're gonna have fun with this. I'm excited to have this capability in-house now. Mm -hmm. So our question for you is, what do you think of X Prime? Do you have an Apex 10 that you're thinking about upgrading to? Would this be a good reason for you uh, to do so? Do you have other questions for us or Mark Seven? Jump down there in the comment section and add a comment, and uh, we'll see you down there, and obviously don't, forget to take advantage of this deal. It's only through December 1st, 2025. So if you're gonna do it, yep. jump on it now. And it works without an auto drive. So you can True. have the manual Apex 10 as well if you're still interested in it, just, That's a, just a heads up. So. A really good point. Yeah, absolutely. So that concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Reloader on TV and wanna take advantage of free resources, exclusives and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting ultimate reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.